Hey guys, LP here. Uh, just wanted to uh, get you some information that you've been looking for, and uh, it's about the threat board. People were asking it. Uh, I, I so I actually looked at um, the the way that uh, Bear Independent does his, and I'll be honest with you, he doesn't do it a lot because it takes a lot, a lot of research uh, to to come up with the columns and rows and all these other things, and they just. Uh, in the end, it's a set of numbers that don't really tell you anything. So uh, maybe it works for him, but it won't work for me. And so I will be doing it my way, uh, the way I've been doing it for years. Uh, and um, we basically break our threats up into tiers. Now, obviously, this is members only, but I will put it out to the rest of the to the regular people. Uh, probably in about a week, uh, it'll it'll pop up on their radar, but. But as we do these, uh, I'll decide whether they want to be leaked out. Also, if you are not a member and you're watching this right now, you might want to take a, a look at the links in the description because we do a lot of this type of stuff. And, well, it is what it is. Membership has its privileges. All right. So if we put the board up, board, there's the board, LP's threat board, just like it's always been. And then, uh, you know, if we start moving through the board, basically my categories are broken into tier one, tier two, and tier three threats. And we only actually focus on the tier one threats. Uh, and But we still talk about tier one or tier two and tier three. Uh, it's just that we don't kind of go crazy over the other tiers because it's like, oh, it's the end of the world. No, not really. Let's pay attention to the real threats. All right. So the very first thing we're going to talk about is uh, your very first tier one election, as I see it, is the election. Uh, after November, uh, things could get very squirrely. They could become a real problem uh, for American citizens. And um, this is this will probably be the time of year that you don't want to be spending a lot of time in Walmart. People are going to be freaking out. They're going to be they're they're going to be wondering where their next meal is coming from. And um, it, it, it could get ugly. It could get ugly. It could get ugly from two major perspectives. The first one is that, uh, you know, Kamala, hala, hala, whatever her name is, Kamala, is, uh, 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 I don't even want to say the words, uh, somehow becomes the president of the United States. Uh, what we can expect from that is her trying to Take away the guns, and it's like, oh, that's that's you just you're just saying that you're trying to scare people. Well, you should probably go and take a look at the things that she has said in the last week about um, using executive action, executive orders to take people's guns away uh, if uh, if Congress doesn't do anything about it within the first 100 days of her administration. Uh, that is that is no idle threat. That's what she plans on doing. And she, along with her vice president, are socialists. There's no way around it. They can't say they're Democrats. They can't say they're Democratic socialists. They are socialists. Uh, if you doubt my words, think of it the same way that Trump said that he's not a Republican, but he is he believes in Republican values. So let that one sink in. Um and uh, you could end up, we could end up with something way worse than what happened, uh, you know, a January three years ago. And, and uh, we should be aware of it and prepared for it. Uh, I honestly think that that is our number one threat right now. All the other stuff going on in the world, which we will talk about, but I honestly feel like that is our number one threat. So we need to be building community and we need to be uh, creating resilience. All right, so if we move on to the next tier one, which will lead to the the prof. The first one leads to the second one, tyranny. You know, uh, a, a tyrannical government that is created by uh, socialists that are masquerading as Democrats. Uh, they they pretend that they're uh, middle of the road main or uh, um, uh, mild Republicans uh, and uh, I'm sorry, Democrats, and they are not. Now, if you hear me using uh, uh, political terms. Please relax. I'm just using it to identify a specific sect of our society. It's got nothing to do with red versus blue. So, the you know, uh, tyranny as far as a tyrannical government easily comes from the people that should not be making policy in America being allowed to make policy in America. Let them eat cake, basically. Let's just go ahead and take their guns. Let's go ahead and force single-payer health care down their throat that doesn't work. And... Uh, let's, 
you know what, instead of instead of dealing with the problem of people not being able to afford houses because, you know, bread, eggs, milk, all the important stuff, because two steaks are now 50 damn dollars at the local Wally World. OK, uh, instead of dealing with that, uh, let's just give everybody twenty five thousand dollars to put a down, a down payment on a, on a house that they'll never be able to keep, that they'll never be able to afford. They'll never be able to keep it. So this is the kind of stuff, this tyrannical government who is, uh, uh, who's, and everything's in place, guys. They just need the right leader to, for their cause. And the next thing you know, everything from the DEA to the ATF to the FBI, basically the entire Department of Justice and Homeland Security uh, would be empowered now to do all the things that the people that are in those seats going, whoa, we might have another president who's, who doesn't believe in all this crazy stuff we're doing. But yeah. We get that right one. If we get that ha ha mala, you know, then we could keep doing all the stupid stuff. Yeah, because it feels good. So that tyrannical government is very easy. All right. The next thing, it could lead to a civil war. Uh, that's, uh, you know, basically the two top things there attached to the third thing. This could lead to a civil war. And when I say civil war, I don't, it could be revolution 2.0. Uh, you know, it's it's difficult to to apply these words because they have multiple meanings. Uh, but in our world here in America, we would literally be revolting against our government. That's that's what this could turn out to be. Um, and then you would have to decide whether you wanted to be part of that or not. But you should you should have the options. OK, uh, but if something were to go down and you decided you didn't want to be part of it, you just wanted to be left alone then you should, you should know that the economy, that everything is going to hell in a handbasket because of that little thing that's going to happen and that you need to be able to step back from it. And uh, and I'm, like I'm saying, if that's who you are, that's what you want to do. You need to be able to step back from it and say, I've got mine, protect my family, leave me alone, don't tread on me, and then just kind of watch from a distance like most our preppers have their plan to do in most situations. Basically, there's no reason to go to Wally World when you've got all the things that you need and the hurricane just came through and ripped everything up. And now all you have to do is like start to rebuild and keep people away from you. So civil war could very, very easily turn into something more than we want it to. Uh, basically, election tyranny, civil war are the tier one uh, issues of the day on the threat board. Now, tier two, economic crash. Economic crash could bring so many different things uh, to the table that um, there's there's no real way to to quantify co what could happen. You know, uh, it could be because of you know the the loss of uh, uh, the dollar is uh, a national or the national standards or the petrodollar for lack of for lack of better words. It could be it could be any one of those things. Okay, uh, and then where we got here, um, cyber attack, cyber attack. We we've seen this. We've seen what this would look like, or we've seen what could uh, look this could look like. But we know that when there is a cyber attack, people kind of lose their minds because they these things don't work anymore because they can't get to their money. Uh, they can't the bank doors close. You know, you could be looking at a lot of different things with cyber attacks, uh, but uh, it would uh, it would be probably more than likely directly related to economic crash. Uh, and it could it could link into uh, a civil war, but likely a cyber attack would be an attack on the nation. Uh, and now we would be Americans and come together. So it doesn't fit into that tier one status right now. All right. The next thing is war, flat out war. We could find ourselves in a war in a a mere at least one, two, three, four different countries right now. We could find ourselves in war. We were talking about this this morning on the live stream where World War Three. OK. And if we're in a war, then it's going to be World War Three because we are aligned with so many countries. And those countries that don't like us are aligned with all the other countries that don't like us. So it would be a world war, uh, an actual kinetic world war. All right. So um, let's go with tier three, the nuclear war. Right now, I don't see that as being, you know, it's all a lot of saber rattling because, you know, it's like, well, if we have World War Three, then that means it's going to be a nuclear war. Well, you know, I hate to tell you this, but we had a World War One and there weren't no nuclear war. Well, yeah, I understand it wasn't it wasn't a, a weapon back then. But then we had World War Two and we were atop of the pyramid on that one. We did have nuclear weapons. 
and we did use them. Um, but you know, they justified it in a, in their own sick and twisted way. But the reality is, is that if there were a World War III, it is not necessary to use nuclear weapons. You know, some so there might be a leader even in their loss. You know, they're in their losing the war that they would go and whatever happens, I would never use a nuclear weapon. It's strictly a deterrent. So, but nuclear war is possible and it is something that we probably need to think about it. You know, uh, you need to probably look at some of the epicenter videos. You just need to see what's going to happen. Uh, you probably need to see uh, play with, um, uh, I think it's nuke.com or something like that, where you can see what different weapons do in different places and where you would be in that mix. You need to watch some of the newer videos that have came out in the last uh, week that talk about the effects of different nuclear weapons uh, and so that you would know where you are in that battle space. That way you can prepare for what may or may not come. All right, uh, and then we've got in the last one, in our tier three is a terrorist attack. Uh, and you know, the terrorist attack could could be a cyber attack. The terrorist attack could be a, a dirty bomb, nuclear weapon. A terrorist attack could cause a war. We, we, we treat it like 9-11, we figure out where it came from and then we go and just lay waste to them. Uh, it could do lots of things. The terrorist, a terrorist attack could be a cyber attack that causes an economic crash. You know, a terrorist attack could be could be a cyber attack that messes with the election. You see what I'm saying? It's uh, so that they make it to the threat board, but they just aren't the top of the pyramid. Right now, we are involved more involved in a unofficial kinetic warfare with terrorist organizations. We are actually actively hunting and killing these people every day. In in South in the in Africa uh, and uh, in uh, the Philippines uh, in some European countries where terrorist activity is still moving around a little bit, um, but uh, it still exists and we're still we're still doing the stuff. We're still fighting in the Middle East, killing terrorists. We just don't we just don't talk about it anymore because they don't want the gov the government doesn't want the American people to know that oh by the way we're still at war. We just uh, you know we we just don't they just don't want people to know because it. It's it's bad for politics. All right. And then so obviously the tier one stuff we're going to look at here. And I apologize because for some reason my whole slide is not coming through. I don't know why it's doing this, uh, but that's OK. I think you guys get the gist of it. So the tier one problems uh, for uh, that, I'm, I, I, that I'm eyeing this week and uh, uh, is, uh, you know, basically the election. What could come from that uh, 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 tyrannical government? What could come from that? And civil war and these things all kind of build onto themselves so <clears throat> okay so i hope this uh satisfies your need for lp's threat board uh, or the threat matrix uh and letting you know where i'm getting information from and how i'm trying to present things to you and how i'm thinking about the world instead of just kind of you know namby pamby you know spitballing we're all gonna die um hopefully you guys enjoyed this do me a favor put something in the comments uh, and um, like I said, this will probably go out to the uh, to, to the regular peoples, to the non-members in about a week because it's kind of a service. Uh, but you guys always get this stuff first. OK. All right, guys. I will hopefully uh, for those of you that are still here and not members, thumbs up on the way out. Members, thumbs up on the way out. Make sure that you're subscribed. And uh, if you're not a member, get in there. Get, get in there. Go find that link, become a member, and you'll get to see more things than than most people do. Because I don't do this very often, but I want people to see the kind of things that the members are going to be getting. All right, guys, as usual, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.